Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to In Case It's Sci Fi Post Apocalyptic RPG, where I'm still in the tutorial here. Episode 3, and we're still. Oh, we're killing it. I'm already level 3, though, and there's a few people looking for me. I have committed a few crimes. Who oh, are you down below? Oh, yeah, because I stole the armory key. And also, one thing I did notice, uh, a thing of note, I was trying to use the key to get into here. That's not the armory. The armory is over. Do I have a yes. clear you know spot notes. over there? Because we'll go through there to there. Yes, and the door's right there. Okay, so can I stealth it over there? We are level three. How close are we to the next level, by the way? 3,000. So I don't think we're going to go through here a little bit because he'll notice me if I go to stealth. Worried about Just go. Forefathers and the IRS who need something but don't know exactly what it is. I did not steal from her because she did not have There's anything of no note. We know what you need better than you do. Yes. Let's go, 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 go. Because we're the ones who formed. We don't want to get caught. I didn't steal. I think I did get caught from you, but that's all right. Okay. I've got the armory key. <laughs> ah. I don't even know where this door is. Get in there. Didn't take anything. The level is not enough. Go, go, go. She, did she notice it? She noticed. Okay. I'm not committing crimes. Can I close the door on her, though? Nope. I don't think I can. Section penalty minus 1,000. I think she spots us. I think our goose is cooked. Okay, but what was worth stealing in here? Ooh, bullets. Yes, sir. Thank you. I don't think any of this is stealing. Be careful. It's going to be tough to get out of here, actually. Oh, so many bullets. Oh, money I will take. All right. Get a little bit of XP. This is... I don't know how we're going to get out. Uh, I hadn't really thought of that one, I suppose. More bullets. Lovely. Okay, now more importantly, the safe. Is there any boxes over here, though? I want to make sure we don't miss anything. Oh, she's she's not here though, so I think it would be okay. All right. Didn't even lock the safe. Okay, I can I get out though. That is the question of the day. There's no other door out of here. I did not probably think that one through, but. We gotta wait for her to go outside. I'm gonna go in. The, I'm gonna go in here real quick. Go in here real quick. No, I'm gonna try to. Need to go. Well. Ah oh, no. It won't happen again. Scram. I can't believe how I keep getting away with this. It's amazing. I wonder what because we have... How much money do we have? We've got 15,000 at least... Uh, 1,500 at least. And I could sell some other stuff. I think it is stolen. Not all of it's stolen. Let's see what we could sell. I think we need to have 2,000 combones by the end of this to get... Maynard yeah. puts his last Sydney. Let's go. Sydney scribbles something in his logbook. I really don't need the taser. If you need something. 
Crowbar, I need that. Uh, grenade, I don't really need that. Sleep grenade, no. Get. How much would I get for that? 200? Cigarettes, sure. Or, I know I'm just... Take everything. That's 330. Oh, we're so close. And that's temporarily anyway. That's 345. Weapons parts. No, we'll need those later, but that's fine. Black powder, I do need that. Oh, and we picked up a mop somewhere. Oh, I did it. I got it. Okay, we got that one. Oh, very nice. So we did get the achievement for having 2,000. All right. Lovely. All right. So we have 2,000 basically. Let me sort that out as well, just so that's a little neater there. Okay. Very nice. I think we can finally, I don't finally get out of here. All right. Actually, is it quicker to go that way, I think it is kind of quicker to go that way. Let's just go that way. But now that I have the money, though, is there anything else I need from you? Just having all the money wasn't hey, necessarily what we Sydney. wanted to Adjust do. I would like to have the, the best book. stuff Please while we're at it. Time if you need something. That other backpack, it's also there is... Defense is up a little bit, but the evasion is down, and uh, I'd rather have more evasion. I could only get out your money. No, I want to look at the weapons, though, just real quick. Yeah, we'll go this way, I guess. Hopefully she does not hold a grudge. Tekachenko grunts a greeting without removing the pipe from her mouth. Tekachenko, oh. All right, Tekachenko, let's just see. Well, that's taking the Raven, but the other... That's probably about the same, I'd imagine. We already have an Andromeda. We stole off the Doctor. How many bullets do you have? 84. That's... And 45 energy cells. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to spend any money on that. We'll, we'll save it for other stuff. Okay. Hey, first day under the dome? You feeling lost and scared? Worried about ravenous forefathers. Oh, Milo! Oh, I didn't talk to Milo yet either. I totally forgot about you, Milo. I'm sorry. Make it quick. Oh, no! You weren't even close to me! Wow, can I actually talk my way out of every single crime here? This is amazing. Oh, no consequences. This is the best time. I wonder if I could steal from you again. You need something but don't know exactly what it is. Contact us. No, no, no. Let's just go. Let's go. <laughs> but enough time here, I think. Oh, good day. Yeah, I'm disappointed. Now this guy will try to get rid of you into a pyramid scheme, but if you're charming enough, you can rope him into a pyramid scheme. Yeah, join my network. Attention, attention. Please handle relics carefully. In case of damage, your life will be forfeit. You know what? I'm going to pay it. I hope to see you again soon. We'll actually get to see him later. So, we'll see how that goes out. Yeah, let's get out of here. We've kept Clara waiting long enough, I think. I've committed enough crimes today. Oh. I love that there's no consequences. I played this goody two shoes uh, like two, at least two or three times going through here. Never thought I would go for that. Oh, that's very lovely. Let's go see Clara. Wow. Look what the wind blew in.
El Dorado, yeah, okay. I'm ready to start the mission. I'm gonna drive the truck. Oh, I don't have enough muscle. Oh, if I had muscle and heavy driving, I could actually take over. Oh, gospel, oh great. Alright, so driving up. I am a little sleepy though. We could we could do with some. Right by the roadside picnic area. The highway leading to C12 Nashville is blocked by an anomalous storm, and you're forced to detour over a mountain pass. Soon the radiator boils over and you have to stop. Clara lifts up the hood and thoroughly examines the steaming radiator. The engine's boiling, so we'll have to wait. We do know what happens when a car boils, right? It's... The blue shuts her mouth abruptly and stares anxiously at the dark funnel cloud dancing on the horizon. Now that you're on higher ground, it's clear that the storm has overtaken a fairly large section of road. It will be difficult to pass. The blue looks at the engine again. We wait. As soon as it cools down, we'll go. This storm worries me more, but it's not an insurmountable problem. I heard there are some relics at the local gas station to protect against anomalies. You could even accidentally step on one out here, they say. Mysterious are the ways of the Lord. Your companion perks up a bit. She seems to be interested in this subject. This place is registered as a resource anomaly zone. Do you know what that is? It's when the relics mined there have been studied and deemed useful. Not much is known about these relics. They dampen anomaly fields, even very strong ones. They're also found in other parts of the dome. They're known as bronze apples or aluminum apples. I don't remember, but something like that. The blue looks at the storm once more. There have been more and more of these lately, and they're getting stronger. I personally think it's divine judgment for how we've squandered the riches under the dome. She sighs and squirms. I knew people who got caught in one of those storms. They blow up so fast, there's no chance to get away. God rest their souls. The blue makes the sign of the cross. Morgan thinks for a moment. It's a combination cafe gas station called Roadside Picnic. Never been there myself, but there's something off about it. There are several anomalies around there and weird relics. Supposedly, machines and structures decay much faster than they should in that area. But maybe that's just a story. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to go check it out. Also, there's about 87 times that say do not enter that way, so you probably shouldn't go over there. Yeah, unless it's like a good bit of radiation. Also, let's check our... A little fatigued. We were up for a few days in that area, so... Actually, head up here. A little bit of stuff up here. Oh, stuff to sell, I will definitely take it. Pick up 20 temporarily. We might need that actually coming up. Our tech is rather not great at the moment. Give it a scan. All right, game 51. No power supply, so we need to take care of that. No problem, we can do that. Earth, no. Let's be very careful, because there are some mines out here.
I don't, I'm not good enough to do any of this. No. So let's leave that for now. Um. um go check it up right here. I don't have enough muscle though, unfortunately. We could head over here though. Yeah, there's a container over there, but I don't have enough muscles. Take trash bin. This is I will take though. Who the hell goes there? Come on in, since you're already here. Who there? I love Aaron. I really do. A weird, scruffy old man with a matted beard is sitting in front of the checkout terminal. The badge on his blue jumpsuit is long since bleached away. The name Aaron Melville is written there in black marker. With a groan, he picks up a magnifying glass and peering through it, begins poking at the keyboard with one knobby finger. The computer plays a short tune. Checkmate, the system declares. The old man angrily sets the magnifying glass aside. A grandmaster? You're a piece of junk, not a grandmaster. And a cheater to boot. He raises his head to squint in your direction. Eh? What do you want? I don't advise eating here and there's nothing to buy. And either way, we're closed. The shopkeeper rises from his seat. And you notice he's sporting a peg where his left leg should be. The old man frowns and sniffles loudly. You want to write a complaint? Go ahead. He looks at you for a minute. When he realizes you're not going to complain, the surly expression slowly leaves his face. The angry look turns to a sad one. After a brief pause, he speaks again. Yeah, well, I do have some problems. The old man lowers his voice almost to a whisper. The oranges pick on me. Escapees, by the look of it. They demand food, money, gas. I've got a turret at the entrance, but it doesn't do no shit. I stand in, screwed something up with the circuitry in the basement. Gotta take a look when I get a chance. But with my leg acting up, those rickety stairs just ain't my cup of tea. Okay, fix the generator, check. So here I am, sitting and playing chess, waiting for those bastards to come back. Melville's getting grim again. He adds, It's my business, and you'd best stay out of it. But if you want to, here's the key. Go down to the basement and see if you can do something with the generator. Maybe if you get the turret to work. That'd make things easier. The old man throws up his hands with a scowl. Oh, then go fix it. Melville reluctantly points a crooked finger at the front door. Go out there and walk over to the gas station. Go down to the basement. There's an anomaly, a tree. It's glowing. And there are some golden thingies hanging off it. We make special devices from that fruit called anomaly protectors. With one be laying around on the floor, go grab it, then put it in the truck and bug off to... Where was it you were going to? That's where you bug off to. The blue, after a little digging, he pulls out a little key on a shoelace. Only take the device, you hear? It's company property. I should be charging you myself, as a matter of fact. Oh, we will be taking everything. I wonder if I can actually sell some stolen stuff now. The old man sits at the counter with his head see if we can barter. in one hand. No food, He's got a little bit of money. Is that still stolen? Coffee is horseshit. Get out. Well, I have 940, so I think it's all not stolen now. Um, I'm not paying for coffee. Let's see uh, what these guys are up to. Come on, don't be shy. Oh, we've got some hippies. I've got some XP. So they, they're they very high on drugs.
You, yeah, you can, uh, uh, I wouldn't mind it if you did it, if I had some as well. I'll, I'll get to enjoy your company. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, so they gave me a bunch of drugs. Come back again. Why should we depend on rational Thank you for the drugs. Alright. I will sell those later. And let's just get something in the and wash your hands. Apparently drink out of that. Oh, broken toilet. Well, that's not working. Ah, very good. Well, I mean, that's not marked not to take. I really don't need any of that. I will just be taking all your supplies. Oh. Yeah, that is marked red. I like you, Aaron, so I'm not going to steal your stuff. I mean, I'm going to steal most of your stuff, but not all of it. And then here you will see screeching, and you can get into a fight while well, you will get your butt kicked. I would advise not doing it. A couple energons. So we're basically just gonna go search here. And we're not gonna go. Do not use the pipes and you're fine. Alright, some crayfish candy. Lovely. Ooh, mine clearance kit. Alright, lovely. All right, we got some fuel. That would be nice. Careful, we get a car later. Nah, we don't need anything there. Will I be able to fix this? I'm not 100% sure. That book I may build. Oh, more ammo. Wow. We are crushing it on ammo wise. Antitoxins. Reagents. Now we're getting close to the weight limit, but alright. Let's see. Oh, tech of 20. I already got that. Alright. Turret trouble is done. Those oranges come back, they're going to have a little surprise. We'll just avoid that. Here and fix the turret. The old man sits at the counter with his head propped in one hand. No food, no supplies. Coffee is horse shit. Get out of here. Oh, it's you again. The old man squints and gives you a silly smile. Huh, so it's like that. Well, thank you, thank you. I didn't think you'd be any good. <laughs> All right, so we did the old man a kindness. Okay, we kind of stole a lot of his stuff too, but... Uh... Okay, so now he's got a turret. We've got some more supplies over here. More containers, more gas. Light encumbrance. Ah. We can make yet. 
I'm not 100% sure if I remember right at that stuff, because some of this stuff actually changes. It changes up a little bit uh, after a little bit of the prologue gets done. But not everything is going to be in this place, so we don't want to put somewhere where we might lose it. Shovel, I do need a shovel. And sometimes you shouldn't dig in some places. I can definitely tell you that. It is sometimes it's a bad idea. Let's head over to Aaron and see what I can sell. He's got any money. The old man sits at the counter with his head propped in one hand. He's got 770. I'm sure I've got something. The coffee is for shit. Get out of here. I think we just need the fuel. I don't. I think I need. Give me. I need at least. I remember. I need one for a quest. So, can we have that? Hundred thirty. Take that. I need my potatoes. Uh, I will keep that fixer just in case. We'll need some of the stuff later. I don't know if I want to start banking it now. So 150. All right. Our way to profit in no time. My barrel over there. Ah, we'll take it. Well, then we'll go check over the crafting real quick. Though, can we make? Or is that in the normal crafting? You can actually craft some stuff over here. What mechanical repair kit, weapon repair kit? We do not have enough. And our repair isn't good enough anyway. I will talk to the White Wing. We'll be talking to everybody before we leave anyway. Oh, so you say. Travis Brightman. Hello. Plus of ordnance disposal. There's something bad in the basement. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna charm you. Why is it worthless? Bye bye. Okay, so there is something in the basement. We're gonna be stealthy, we're gonna be careful. And we'll be getting potatoes. All kinds of supplies. Well, this is my personal stash box, which would not be a horrible idea. Okay, what could I... Fixer, you could leave. Air pellets. Antitoxin, I don't think we're going to need. We'll leave that stuff right now, because we can't really... Our gunsmithing isn't enough to make any bullets, so that's... Not a terrible idea. The duct tape. I'm actually going to bank that stuff. We tech up 20 temporarily. We could use that. We 
I'll leave the nails as well and the glue. All the crafting stuff. I shed a little bit. Do I really need the eggs? No, I don't think we... We'll save that. Save that canister in case I do need, because that's a little bit of weight anyway. Okay, let's go loot some more. Can't help it. Nothing found, though. Another canister. Another hammer, alright. There's bed over here as well. A bunch of anomalies out back. I think if we're careful, we can get that supply barrel as well. I'm trying to remember what is up there that would be worth risking that. If you go around the other side, and you could get up there and... Might be worth checking out. There's the rest of this. I'll take all of that. Rich workbench. I don't think there's anything we can make, sadly. So much loot. Plastic. All right, nice. More bullets. Well, you are a thief, kind of, by the way, so... Give up on the fatigue. Oh, night. Nice. Find. And we found a dollar. All right. What time is it getting to be? It's only about noon. That's your carrying weight. What do you say? I need to drop some more. We don't have a ton of carrying weight. We're kind of like a glass cannon, so I cannot carry a ton. We'll get companions later on. This will uh, get a little easier. I'm going to dump all this currently. Transfer one over. More canisters. Keep the ore. That's uh, important for an upgrade later. Shouldn't probably be spelling this so bully nilly. Right, so we got a. Oof, that's a lot of weight. Okay. Also check character wise. I'm pretty tired, but I think we could at least go get this done. But we want to maybe see if we can get in. Stay in here in stealth. If we can avoid this guy, it would be better for everybody involved. Because a lot of times he also heals from the uh, radiation poison here. And he's got a good amount of hit points. And our stealth is quite good. And sometimes you will be a fool and accidentally fortunately run into stuff. We're gonna be poisoned for a little bit. No, 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 no. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm right. Search the container. Ooh, personal teleporter. You need any tech for that, I do believe.
That glowing tree. Brass apple relic. Okay. So we got everything. We just gotta be a little careful. Ow, 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 ow again. Very delicate on the clicking, so you probably gonna take a little bit of damage. Oh, that's eleven seconds of toxic corrosion. Gonna be okay. I think you'll be all right. All right, we're okay. I think really, let's check out our character. Are you a little bit hungry? Not really thirsty. Why don't you have some canned ham? We should probably heat that though. That's true, why don't we head over, I'll heat up some canned ham. Cook that up, there's a fire over here. Then we'll head over to bed. That way we're getting a little, I do believe we get a little bit of XP for that. And we are getting a little fatigued as well. Yeah, let's cook a little bit. I'm gonna craft all the maximum there. All right. We gain some XP. All right, nice. We're all healed up. Not a ton of hit points in this guy either, so we gotta be careful. Oh, and we've got a... You know what? I don't really, really want to deal with that just yet. I think I'd prefer a nap. We're pretty fatigued out. Um, how about 5 o'clock? Let's just see how that goes. Right, fatigue zero. Thirst a little bit, hunger a little bit. All right, so quick save because we're about to. This could go sideways on us, but I think we could probably. We managed to talk our way out about anything, so. Unless it goes bad, there is a turret right there. I just don't know how they're going to spawn because I'm a black wing. Okay, so there's four. Uh, X oranges out here. Oh, no. Oh, I do not have the canister because I forgot about that. Okay, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Let's see if I can get that canister out. We can make a deal that way. I forgot to have the canister on me. And I just give you a gas canister because I have fuel, but that's for like the flamethrower. Not quite the same. Can we talk this over? I have a canister now. Oh, you again. I have a canister. Why don't you just take it and you you go on? Alright, so they left. Got a nice amount of XP. Nobody had to die. I will tell Millville that we uh, 
Got that done. With his gang problem solved, Melville is visibly more hospitable. I'm sorry for bitching at you, sweetheart. My mood hasn't been great this last couple of Oh, you calling sweetheart? Would you like some coffee? Because I could use The old man takes off his plastic leg and wraps it on the counter. Hey, anybody want some coffee? Coffee, come on. You can't tell if Aaron is coughing or laughing. Well, it's seething with life. People come and go. White wingers hanging around the swamp. One such fella came along today, walking around poking things with that scanner of his. Want to shake hands with people. What kind of guy is that? The old man leans close and continues in a confidential tone. I used to have a gizmo of sorts. It warmed stuff up better than any heater. And when they saw it, their eyes almost bugged out of their heads. They took it away from me. It's dangerous, they say. What else? Well, sometimes bandits show up. Get pounded on the head occasionally. Not as often as I'd like, but there it is. The old man gives you a smile of satisfaction. The old man sighs in sadness. <sighs> what life? I'm an old man. Life? <laughs> My ass. The old man scrubs his bald spot. <sighs> That'd be my stand-in, I think. And here I reckon he'd gone and quit on me. It smelled a stench from the cellar. Thought a rat croaked down there. Listening to your story, he shakes his head in amazement. You say it didn't even look like a person? Oh, I had a bad feeling about this place from the start. Not good at all, I'm telling you. Hey, sweetheart! Wait a minute, hold up! The boy looks a bit confused. I was just uh, oh picnic yes I, thinking I wanted to thank you maybe we could go on a picnic you like picnics don't you I think he's hitting on me I'm not entirely sure Aaron smiles his expression is both silly and sincere look there's a cliff nearby lovely place I got a cook pot already there a comfy piece of tarpaulin too the logs are alive. Even got little bottles stashed away. <laughs> Melville grunts, reaches under the counter, and pulls out a bulky bag smelling of onions. The old man lays out the bag's contents on the counter. Canned pork, onions, eggs, and potatoes. He looks quite proud of his stash. What's a picnic without snacks? Here, I'm going to teach you my family recipe for pulled pork. All right, I learned a new recipe. And then, gesturing excitedly, the old man reveals the secrets of Melville family cuisine. I'd cook it myself, but I'm sure you can do better. Uh, see the stove behind me? There you go, use it. Go ahead and cook. The blue rakes the food back into the bag and gives it to you. Okay, very nice, let's go make some pulled pork. And there we go. Aaron stares into his screen and mutters to himself. <laughs> Where am I going to get all them pawns? You filthy dog. He notices you. Ah, it's you. Well, come on, come on, speak up. What do you want? Squinting skeptically, Aaron takes a piece of pork and tries it. Where? What do you know? That came out pretty good. He lowers his voice. There's that guy with the rock, the white by the swamp, and those two hippies. Ask them if they want siblings, too. If you got anybody else in mind, call them, too. More people, more fun. All right, let's all invite him to a picnic. Lovely. Hello. All right, they'd love a picnic. Very nice. Now let's go invite Clara real quick. I don't think she would. She probably wants to get on, but you know, it's time for a picnic. 
Clara briefly looks up from poking around the engine. So, how's the situation? Sure you don't want some nuts? Water, maybe. I have some here. Well, thank you very nice, but would you like to go to a picnic with a strange old man? You see doubt in Blue's eyes. I don't know. Clara looks hesitant. But we're on a mission. She wipes her hands with a rag draped over the truck fender. All right, but not for long. We'll do it in half an hour, right? Sure. And then we take the truck and leave. No. Oh, that'd be horrible. All right, so we got a couple more people for the picnic. Lovely. So him will go invite the scientist. There is a container up here. Oh, hello there. You're invited to the picnic. Uh, how how did you like how we resolved that with the bandits? He was like, sure, why not? All right, fair enough. Yeah, but I'm tempted to want to go try this. Get close. And we found out, ooh! Heavy tat weapon tactical rifle. Oh, very nice. Fortunately, I don't think we can get around any other way. The question is, can I throw a bolt? Because I think we're going to take some damage, though. Can I... Can I get out and... Oh, I don't know if I can. Can we go back a ways? I don't think I can hit that corner. Oh, well, that's just inconvenient. Dude, all right. Um, we might take a bit of damage here. Oh, okay. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Laceration. Okay, not terrible. Yeah, do I have a band-aid? We do not have one band-aid. Oh man, we're not very... Can you medic up real quick? Well, we're gonna take a little bit of damage. About another second, uh, not much you can do about... Ooh, that's, that hurts. I wanna save our med kit stuff. Well, I think it was worth it for that rifle. Anything up there, but I don't think there is. Okay, can I get a little bit of... Okay, we're back. A little tired. Maybe we'll get some coffee before we go. The door. Glad to meet you. Yeah, we've kind of played this. Uh, so I will kind of gloss over all this. So, uh, out here just exp uh, researching, exploring. Come back again. All right. Yeah, for the spot, not really. That is everyone, actually. Well, everybody is here for a picnic. Lovely. Yeah, let's, uh, have the plates. Light the fire. I mean, he's just being safe.
how they're having a philosophical debate. You remember us passing a supermarket last week? I'm thinking about that purse with glass beads. It's a shame I didn't buy it. Alright, so I'm a little tipsy. Perception down a little bit, but that's alright. But Rabbi, you still get me. Let's head out. If Belleville's already back, we'll see about grabbing some coffee maybe real quick. If it's not too expensive. And did I not have the... Oh, I think I put it away. That would be, ooh, that would be a little bit of a snafu. I might put away the heavy weapon for now. Do use handgun cartridges, though. So it does use the same ammo, 2021. But it is heavy, and we have more of a thing with light weapons. Or did I somehow lose that? Oh, maybe he stole it. I wonder if they stole it back if they caught you. Oh, fiddlesticks then. Well, that's probably fair. But I think we made out pretty good anyway. Got some coffee real quick and then I guess we'll get going. I don't think he had a coffee machine in here so we could get some free coffee. And this stuff will be around later so I'm not too worried. The old man's face is red from drink and ecstatically happy. See, it was a good sitting, all right. And that friend of yours is fine. If I was a bit younger, trust me, I'd marry her in a second. <laughs> yeah, I'd just take her by the elbow and say, My lady, come with me down the aisle. Melville hiccups loudly. Oh, I love him. So, uh, copy is 60. Well, at the end of the day, I could just take an Energon, too. Nah, it's okay. Yeah, let's sort that out real quick. Do I have? I do have a little bit. Hey, your fatigue is actually zero. Never mind then. And your 30 out of 42. I guess I'll take it. Let's put the anomaly protector in and then we'll get going. Clara briefly looks up from poking around the engine. So, how's this? A vague smile appears on the blue's face. Really? That's good news. We could have been stuck in here for a long time. Radio's still not working. You open the hood. Clara sets up the device between the cylinder block and the fuel pump. Nothing happens at first, but then the small sphere clicks and a network of thin cracks appear on the surface, from which thousands of flat, pink roots emerge. They spread all over the engine and darken before your very eyes, assuming a metallic texture and shine. You exchange glances with Clara. The blue crosses herself silently. She gently touches the relic and forcefully slams the hood. Sitting behind the wheel, Clara nods to you, inviting you to get into the cab. Done. Let's go. See whether this gizmo really helps against the storm. All right, let's get going. All right, straight line to Nashville. As you approach Nashville, the realization hits you that something is definitely wrong. The boom at the security checkpoint is up, and the turret indicators are glowing red. Black smoke rises over the parking lot. The automatic guns beep and direct their gun barrels at your vehicle. You and Morgan exchange concerned looks. Fortunately, I don't have death proof, so, uh... 
Step on the accelerator. Clara floors it. The engine roars as the tractor truck speeds past the turrets and leaves the danger zone. The road turns left, and you're on the main road leading to the complex. There are bodies everywhere, but no visible survivors. Morgan crosses herself and whispers a prayer. Through the smoke-filled air, you see the red lights of a new batch of turrets taking aim at you. No, no, we better stop just Clara in case. swings the vehicle into a short, controlled skid, positioning it to shield you as you exit. As the turrets swivel to catch up to your truck, the two of you are already on the ground outside the kill zone. Sitting beside the truck track, you lift your head to see Nashville ablaze. Black smoke billowing overhead and intertwining with the maelstrom above the station. It whirls slowly and majestically, hundreds of tiny green lightning bolts flashing silently in the epicenter. Clara lifts her eyes to the sky, mesmerized by the whirlpool of clouds. We need to scout the surroundings. You nod in agreement. Morgan is right. It's time you figured out what happened here. All right, Clara. Clara is probably not going to help, though. Hey, you're going to be okay. No, don't. Uh, if God could help. Yeah, I'm going to handle the turrets. Get help. You just stay here. Okay, but alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will uh, then leave off here as we delve into Nashville proper. And yeah, we've got turrets on that side. And we're going to try to uh, sneak our way through. Yeah, there is a manhole under there as well. We might be able to stealth right through this too. But I think I will leave off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. It does help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.